Gusty showers tonight with more sunshine on Friday. Good Thursday afternoon, East Tennessee. David Aldrich, Captain Accurate here from the Captain Accurate Weather Command Center. Well, you can see the rain and even the thunderstorms, especially south and west toward Birmingham. That's where we're getting some of the convection, some of the thunderstorms firing up there in red. Also some rain around Jamestown, all of it sliding in this direction as we zoom in a little bit tighter. It's been raining now for a while in Cookville and working its way through the plateau. But we have wind advisories shaded there in light blue until 7 o'clock tonight for gusts around 45 miles per hour. But if you were curious, as of 3 o'clock, We've already had a gust of 36 miles per hour at McGee Tyson Airport. I mentioned this wind would be a factor even in the valley, and that's what we've seen thus far. Meanwhile, we see Veterans Day evening looking like this. The front comes to town. We get more showers, some downpours, maybe even a rumble of thunder before it's all said and done. And then we set the stage tomorrow for an open door policy in terms of the cold air. It's going to flood down from Canada and move toward Omaha, work in the direction of Kansas City and Chicago. We're only going to look for a high tomorrow around 62 degrees but I will be watching this closely. Sunshine abounds at least for a little while today, but more cloudiness is developing to the west. We're expecting all this to fill back in. As you can see here in the middle of the afternoon, it'll fill in from the west and rain will eventually fall. Keep in mind, some thunderstorms still possible with some gusty winds. Our low temperatures this morning were all over the map. Mid to upper 30s, Middlesbrough, Jonesville, low 40s for Knoxville, Morristown, but low 50s in Crossville in anticipation of this front approaching. Our highs have been in the 60s, if not the lower 70s, 72 in Knoxville, 73 in Sevierville, a warm day, and even our dew points have come up 10 degrees, so it's about 10 degrees more humid now than it was earlier this morning when the sun was coming up. So we have a little bit of rocket fuel for maybe a thunderstorm or two. Evening planner will take us back to 61 at 7. I think during the drive home and certainly the evening, right about, say, 10 or 11, much of this rain should begin to diminish, but 57 by 11 o'clock tonight. Low temperatures in the upper 30s for Warper, Crossville, low 40s for Oak Ridge, about 44 in Crossville to start the day tomorrow morning with some patches of fog. Who's ready for some snow? I've got some flurries in the forecast. My winter weather outlook for Knoxville and East Tennessee is, in fact, now online on the homepage of CaptainAccurate.com. Just go to the website and scroll down an inch or two, and you'll see it there. It runs about three to four minutes in length. The future cast shows this front coming to town. Look at the downpours. Could easily pick up a half inch to an inch of rain across much of the area, and again, could produce some a downpour, some thunder. Then it slides to the east, and we'll see these winds diminish after midnight, but we will find some patches of fog to form in the, in the wake. And then there may be another spoke of energy to the north and west. If you look toward Bowling Green, that's 415 on Friday. That could be the makings of a few drops or flakes in southeast Kentucky by 2 o'clock in the morning Saturday. Some of this may come back, maybe not right away, but come Sunday. Sunday, we could see the same type of pattern develop where we get some spots of rain or snowflakes. I see some flakes in blue around the fall at about 9 o'clock in the morning maybe mixing in with rain through the valley and then exit stage right with more flakes in the smoky. So not a big deal, but enough to say, okay, winter is trying to tell us something. Well, headlines, gusty showers tonight, rumbles of thunder, patches of fog late with more sunshine and cooler Friday with highs around 62. I left a 20% chance of precipitation Saturday morning, 20% chance of rain on a Sunday, which could mix in with some snowflakes and then some morning flurries possible on Monday, but more rain, more likely rain next Thursday. Day. When we see our next system come in, it'll be getting warmer by then. A pair of fours tonight, gusty showers, downpours, and some fog in the overnight as winds will diminish after midnight. Friday's high, 62 with sunshiny skies. It'll be cooler. Winds about 5 to 10 plus during the course of your day. Here's your Captain Accurate Weather Authority forecast for Knoxville in East Tennessee. 50 on Saturday. Again, most of the rain or flakes will be found in the morning on Saturday, and that's going to be mainly confined to probably southeast Kentucky, maybe the northern plateau. But then a pair of fives on Sunday, upper 40s on Monday, the coolest day of the week, not only in the morning, but in the afternoon. And then we warm up 20 degrees by Wednesday in the afternoon to 68 with more rain showers, primarily in the afternoon on Thursday of next week. By the way, you can keep track of it all using the Captain Accurate weather app. It's free, powered by my friends at Fox Toyota in Clinton, I-75, exit 122. Keep you and your family safe. Just search Captain Accurate at the App Store and Google Play. Well, my name is David Aldrich. Some people call me Captain Accurate. It's not easy being accurate, so weather doesn't surprise you. We'll see you here next time. Take care.